What's up guys? So, this is it. This is the video that you have been waiting to see. I remember saying that for our first video. Right? That's how we started our first one with our first tour. Yeah. <laughs> so, didn't do nearly as much hard work on this one. I guess there was a little bit of hard work when it comes to the money idea of it all, but we didn't have to put a lot of physical labor into this one. For some reason we decided we were just going to buy a brand spanking new So yeah, we decided we we're gonna buy brand spanking new. Um, and oh. and we did do a teaser a couple weeks ago of the trailer. Left you guys hanging. Um, thought it'd be fun to do that. And we didn't mean to leave you hanging as long as we did. A couple of days after we bought our trailer, my daddy died. Um, so we needed a little time, and we appreciate everybody still sticking by us and supporting us through that time. Um, but we are here with an actual tour now, and. We're excited to yeah. show you what we have. <laughs> and that we didn't just upgrade the trailer, we upgraded the truck too. Um, we put airlift shocks on the truck. We put, well, not airlift shocks. We put load levelers on the truck. We took the leveling kit off the front end of the truck truck to drop the front end so that when we put the trailer on, it's not looking up at the moon. And then we upgraded uh, shocks all the way around too. And the tires. And tires. We've a got better, bigger tires. We've got bigger tires, higher load rating tires. So for yeah. those of you that want to go ahead and comment, oh you can't pull that trailer with that truck. Uh, you'll see in the pictures that we post this truck sits completely level with this trailer. And guys we went from 29 feet to 36 feet 11 inches. So you can imagine it's our a excitement. Big boy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, um, we have we now have room for Elias. We now have room for the dogs. Um, Elias can grow in it, and we can live in this for a long time. With the two dogs. It's amazing. We all have our own space. Yeah. So. Without further ado. What you all have been waiting for. Let's go check it out. guys so we are inside the new trailer now guys this thing is beautiful um, we've got skylights we've got a residential size refrigerator check out this sink guys check out this sink in this kitchen yeah that's a stainless residential sink with your residential faucet when I hooked up the water here.
All right, so in the kitchen dining area, we've gone for the U-shaped dinette, which, of course, if you've done this for any amount of time, you know that that folds down into a bed. Then, my favorite part of this trailer, guys, I hope you're never in the campsite next to us because I'm going to mess with whoever is next to us in our campground because check out these blinds, guys. I'm going to sit here and do this all day to the person next to us in the campground. So, if you ever see us, make sure you're not next to us. You've got really cool blue track lighting that goes across the slide, and it's in our fancy little speakers that we've got in the ceiling too. This is way more than we thought we would ever have, but lots of storage also. That's another thing we liked about this. You've got the pullouts under the dinette, but then also we've got our teaching closet here where we keep all of our craft supplies and books and materials for teaching. And if you can't hear, this is what Elias loves about it. He can run from end to end of it now. All right? You want to go see your room? You want to go show everybody your room? Come on. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, give them the tour, bud. So we're still moving in, so there's some stuff that's not in its place yet, or it hasn't found its place yet. But what I want you to notice about Elias's room is that he has the biggest part of the trailer. He's got a big window here that we've put a blackout curtain over because a lot of heat does come in there. But this the kid has the biggest couch in the place. That is bigger than the couch in the living area. And again, that folds down to another bed. Something that you'll notice about as we go through the trailer is if you look by the couch and then right up here, you'll see these little green lights throughout the trailer. What that is is that we actually went ahead and got a trailer that has solar panels already on it. Now, it was one of the stipulations. If we were buying new, I wanted to make sure we had solar panels for boondocking. Now, granted, I've got to upgrade the system a little bit so we can run everything off of it, but we can run the basics off of the solar panel that comes with the trailer. It was on the trailer. It wasn't pre-wired. It was on the trailer already. All these little green lights, like there's one right over there, all these green lights are 12 volt chargers that run off the solar. So that those are always running off of solar. Neat thing about this trailer, because of the solar panel, the refrigerator always solar. There's no more propane. It is strictly solar powered, except when you're plugged into shore power, then it switches over to shore power. But when you're going down the road, you don't have to have the propane on. It's running off the panels on the roof. All right, guys. So we'll take a look at the bathroom now. This is a pretty big bathroom for a travel trailer. And if it's not big enough, you just open the door outside. You've got all the room you want. But again, lots of storage in this bathroom. You've got the foot flush seat. You've got a half bathtub. That's what they call it, I think, a half bathtub. So Elias can take his baths and there's still, you have the skylight, so people like me that are kind of tall and don't fit in travel trailer showers, we now fit thanks to that skylight. Well, we're starting to get it decorated. We've got our little Mickey Mouse guy here and we have a shower curtain coming that matches that. So. Who knew we would go Mickey Mouse theme in our bathroom? So as we leave the bathroom, we can spin around and we can take a look at the front of the trailer where our room's at. So before we get into our room, we have another leather sofa here. I know, it's not real leather, but I like to call it leather. But this is a really neat thing about this trailer, guys. Again, when you're full-time RVing, propane can get expensive in the wintertime. We've got a nice little electric fireplace to kind of cut down on that propane bill. We've got a little storage here for books and whatnot. Can I open this? All right. 
books, DVDs, stuff like that can go in there. Thanks for the help, Blake. You've got your radio here. This is connected. You can connect radio, Bluetooth, USB, however you want to do it, HDMI. And you can turn on the different zones. If you've had a trailer trailer like this that had the speakers on the outside, you know you can turn off the zone. So you can have it just playing inside, just playing outside, or vice versa, or playing through everything. Um, the only thing that we're having issues with right now, TV mounts. Um, the TV mounts that Forest River put in this um, don't fit any TV that I've ever seen. So we're talking to the manufacturer of the mount, seeing what they can do, because we have LG TVs, and it's one of the most popular TVs. Why wouldn't you make a mount that fits that? So we're going through the process with that. So we'll get that figured out, and we'll let you know how that goes. But again, we've got Wi-Fi booster, you've got your, your cable connection, eight inch subwoofer, and then the mansion. We've got the door to Heather's side, and the door to my side, which means we don't have to see each other when we go in the room if we don't want to. I'm just kidding. If you remember our old trailer, we had redone the whole room. We were able to fit a full, actual queen-size bed in that in that room. Here, that is not an option. This is that classic RV short queen that when you go buy a trailer, they'll say, it's an actual queen-size mattress. It's not. It's a short queen. But that's what we have in here. So not as much room as we used to have, but it works for us. We've still got each have our own closet. We've got some storage above the headboard there. It works for us. All right, guys, so this is actually a pretty neat thing about this trailer, and I guess maybe we're just old-fashioned and we had an older trailer, so I didn't think about stuff like this. But, guys, this is your main control panel here for the trailer. You've got everything from your slide lights, those nice little blue lights over the slide, to your, con your main conventional lights, your awning lights. But this is what I want you to notice right here. Right here you've got a voltage meter. That is actually telling you the voltage on your battery right now because it's being charged off of your solar panels. And then if you go into the under store, uh, the underpass there, the storage area, you actually have the solar voltage meter, which is telling you what kind of charge you're getting off of those solar panels right now. But if that wasn't neat enough, there's a little QR, one of those QR codes on your control panel there. You scan that with your phone, it takes you to an app, you download that app, boom. Heather can do everything on this trailer from her phone. She can bring the slides in, she can put the awning out, she can turn the lights on and off. Everything that you can do from right here, Heather can do it from her phone. That's pretty awesome. And I just, I guess I never thought about that. So that's a pretty neat feature on this new Cherokee 294BH also that we just bought. So, that was our home. We hope you enjoyed it. So, we bought from Campers Inn in Selma. Selma. Um, from Ed, do you remember his last name? Pincus. Pincus. So I don't think that's how he actually pronounces it from the phone calls, but that's what it looks like. So if you are looking for a trailer and you're in the area, definitely go check them out and ask for Ed. He was amazing. The entire staff has been amazing. Um, they, they really went above and beyond their job title to, uh, to help us get into this trailer and we are so thankful for them. There's actually a story behind that too and I won't go into all of it, but just short version of the story, this was the first trailer we looked at. And I said I wasn't going to buy the first thing we looked at. So we spent the rest of the day looking at trailers. This was the only trailer we saw that fit what we were looking for. So we decided about 4 o'clock that afternoon, after checking out multiple uh, dealers, 
we were going to go back and, and talk to him about this trailer. Well, we pull into the parking lot, and this was at the front of the parking lot, guys. It had a big sold sign on it. And it didn't get sold to us. But we ended up with it. But that's a long story. I won't, I won't tell you all of that. But anyhow, I realized in this video, only once did I say what kind of trailer we bought. So guys, this is a 2021 Forest River Cherokee 294BH. And it's Cherokee Limited. It has all of the packages. It has all the packages. Ours is a Cherokee Elmitted. Because we're missing an eye. Camper's in. I'm looking at you. So they have it. I just have to go pick it up. So we do have a Cherokee Limited. Bye. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed looking around our new home. I hope this kind of makes you want to go buy one now. Man, these things are nice. These, they've come a long, long way since 2006. And we're looking forward to making lots of memories in it and sharing them with you. Um, so, as always, we appreciate all of your support. Um, <laughs> we, we never expected to be where we are, um, what, a year and a half? living full-time um, but we are we're so excited about it and we are sitting still right now um, and once we get back on the road uh, down the road once we get back on the road we will have so much to show you but until then we will definitely still be doing videos and we will still be sharing our life in our new home <laughs> so guys make sure you hit that subscribe button Hit the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. And if you got any questions about the process of buying a new trailer, leave a comment down below. We'll be more than happy to help any of you out that have any questions about the process of buying a new travel trailer. So guys, we will see you next time. Thanks for checking out our new home. Bye guys.